The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. It lingered there to touch your hair and walk with me. All summer long we sang a song and then we strolled that golden sand. Two sweethearts and the summer wind. Like painted kites, those days and nights they went flying by. New beneath the blue umbrella sky. Then softer than a piper man. One day it called to you. I lost you. I lost you to the summer wind. What's going on? Well, today's a really big day here for the city. Today is the groundbreaking for our boardwalk. We're also commemorating six months after Sandy, and it's just a really special day uh, here in Long Beach. We are seeing the groundbreaking for our boardwalk, and we know 88% of our residents have, have asked very clearly for a boardwalk that's stronger, smarter, and safer, and with able to withstand storms, and that's what we're delivering. Tropical, sustainable hardwood, a little bit of concrete, hurricane straps, and a retaining wall, and we should see a beautiful beautiful boardwalk that is aesthetically pleasing and comfortable for walkers, bikers, joggers, and, and is a really family-friendly environment for de many, many decades to come. Well, the contractor is now on the clock for 200 days, I believe, uh, from, from this moment going forward. And they are on the clock for 20% completion within the first 100 days. And if they don't hit those, uh, there's milestones along the way. And if they don't hit those milestones, and if they're not done on time, there's penalties um, for any day that they're late. And we have a project labor agreement in place to ensure that this boardwalk is built by local labor and that we see them working um, potentially six days a week, up to 12 hours a day, and no work stoppages or any complications. The original cement pilings are intact and they're safe, but of course all of the decking and the stringers and everything that goes along with it has had to be replaced. There's going to be a what's called a retaining wall to pr help protect the boardwalk from future storms and wave actions. The beach will be absolutely open for business this summer. We're going to be opening all the beaches. We're going to have lifeguards and ticket takers and we we urge everyone to buy their beach passes and buy them early. We're going to be doing all the events that we've done in the past here in Long Beach, and we're going to be doing even more. All the arts festivals, all our parks will be open, um, surf festivals, concerts, everything. My name is Logan Cohn, and I'm uh, from Long Beach, New York, and it's very good to be here. Uh, Long Beach was a great part of my life, the boardwalk especially. Today marks a tremendous day for us. Today starts the rebuilding of our beloved boardwalk. We met here a few months ago to, uh, unfortunately, have to say goodbye to this icon of Long Beach and really an icon of, of Long Island. Um, today is history in the making. This starts a new era of showing the uh, the county, showing the state, and really showing the world where we're coming back. We've uh, had a tremendous tragedy here with Hurricane Sandy, but we're going to be stronger, we're going to be safer, we're going to be better than ever. We have some of the best restaurants, some of the best stores, boutique shops. Uh, people remember that about Long Beach. This is a step forward showing that we're still here. Come back and uh, see and then share with us our growth and our rebirth. Hi, my name is Dara. I'm a resident of Long Beach. I live at uh, Neptune Towers, which is a great building at the end of the boardwalk on the East End. And uh, we're here for the groundbreaking ceremony of the boardwalk. Um, this is my wife, Lauren, and we've lived in Long Beach for a little over five years. Um, we're very excited about the rebuilding of the boardwalk. It's one of our favorite places, one of the reasons why we came down here to live. And uh, we are very proud of our city workers and our city officers who did a really fantastic job in getting everything up and running. And uh, 
uh, really can't wait till November, hoping that it's all finished by then. Yeah, that's right. It's a, they did a wonderful job, and this is a great day. It's a beautiful day, and I hope uh, you know they have 210 days to finish it, and I hope they finish it on time. Yeah, the I'm weather's on our side. Yeah. In the summer, I spend every day on it, riding my bicycle, and then at night, in the evening, we walk on it. We yeah. go to the, the bands, the shows that they have set up, and, and we go to even go to restaurants. Go to the and, restaurants, yeah. and it's just it's one of the best. It's the best place to live. I just love living down here because we still have the ocean, we still have the beach, and it's going to be very exciting to watch the progress. I know everybody in town is going to be talking about it. It's really a, a wonderful thing. <laughs> what everybody should do is uh, go out to dinner in town. You know. So support the local restaurants, that's what we're doing. Today, after my whole life in Long Beach and appreciating what God has given us on this barrier beach in our city, it's an amazing opportunity for us to take a bad situation and make it better. When we took down the boardwalk a few months ago, I started to take down and demolish the boardwalk to what was left of it. It was 3,000 people there and there were tears. It's like losing part of your life. And we experienced that. Today, it's a rebirth. Long Beach is going to be bigger and better. The boardwalk is the lifeline to our community. Without the boardwalk, we do not have people. Without people, we don't have jobs, we don't have our restaurants and our resources here to be enjoyed by all. Through the years, and I've been here almost almost 80 years, and I've been running on this boardwalk for over 70 years, and I can tell you, the people that we used to see on the boardwalk, from Hollywood, from all over the world, even opera singers singing against the ocean, it was a life experience. Now, at that time, people stared at me because I was running on the boardwalk. Today, people, all sizes, shapes, and, and from all over the world, utilize the beautiful boardwalk that we had. And now, with the rebirth of a new boardwalk, we're going to be bigger, stronger, and the resilience of our city is only going to make us more popular and more successful. Thank God for what we have. Hi there. My name is Allison Gilbert. I'm a third generation Long Beach person. Uh, as they say, once you have Long Beach sand in your shoes, it's there permanently. My heart is here. I consider the boardwalk the second asset in Long Beach second only to the ocean itself. The boardwalk's really for the strollers, the bike riders, the people that sit on the benches, and there's just so much. If we can just think outside of the box, there is so much that Long Beach can do to attract people because we have one of the largest communities of artists and other creative people of anywhere. And I just wish Long Beach the best and everybody the best. I'm uh, pleased to be here to see a, uh, a rebuilding of our boardwalk, which has for so many years been the life and the heartbeat of our community, drawing people from, not only from Long Beach, from all of the environs, giving us an opportunity to see the incredible beauty and the diversity uh, of our island. Uh, and so this is an important step back in reclaiming victory uh, for the people over Sandy. Uh, the people People have never given up, they've got great heart, and this is a great city. It's important for the entire region because not only the people of Long Beach, but the surrounding communities, uh, as well as many visitors uh, who come uh, to be on the boardwalk, to see it, to take in its majesty, uh, because it really is the balcony, the showcase for what God has given us, which is such a, a beauty, uh, the wonderful seashore and all of the activities uh, that accompany it. We are indeed fortunate. Uh, that we're having it rebuilt and uh, I'm pleased to be here and see it being done.
this crowd today. This speaks volumes. Our city, unlike any other city, stands together. We came together months ago to mourn the loss of our boardwalk. Today we come together to celebrate the rebirth of it. Long Beach is coming back better than ever. Yes, we are coming back bigger and better than ever. Nothing gets Long Beach down. This boardwalk is a symbol. It's a symbol of Long Beach. It's a symbol of Long Island. It's a symbol of New York. And like much of New York, it was ravaged and sandy. But like New York, it's coming back. And the good news is it's going to come back bigger, better, and stronger than ever. Nature can throw whatever they want at us. The next boardwalk is going to resist it. It's a great happy day. And this boardwalk is coming back, and I promise you this, I love this city. I loved it before Sandy. I love it more now. And we are not going to let any bureaucrat, any stupid regulation, anything else stand in the way for you and your individual situations, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, and for the city of Long Beach, whether it's the boardwalk, the sewage plant, the beach, or anything else. God bless Long Beach. God bless America. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt. going to transform the look of our city just having a new boardwalk you know people can ride their bikes kids can come out and enjoy the boardwalk it's going to be a project and it's going to be accomplished we're all going to be able to enjoy it You develop a, a kinship with the boardwalk, and everybody's got a tremendous amount of memories of uh, fun times in the summer, and just jogging on the boardwalk in the winter even. Uh, the boardwalk's truly the lifeblood of the city, and I can't wait for it to be back up and running. Long Beach is back better than ever. We're really excited for the summer. You know, there's, there's waves, beautiful sand. Cannot wait to get down here, just because you know, they're going to be building the boardwalk and, and construction does not mean that the, board, the beach is not open. We're really looking forward to an awesome summer and uh, many years to come here in Long Beach, New York. Today's just a huge day for the city. We have Long Beach's favorite son, Billy Crystal, here. Uh, we're unveiling just a little bit of, of the boardwalk so everybody can get a, a sneak preview of what's to come. Uh, we've got a big donation for the city's relief fund of a million dollars, uh, a rendering of the first bump out that's going to go in the end of the boardwalk called Billy's Way. And Billy's here filming a commercial to invite everybody back to the beach and, and have a, a wonderful summer here in Long Beach and a great advertising campaign that's about to kick off to uh, pump up our summer season and, and uh, support our local businesses. So it's just a great day for Long Beach. Everybody's got sand in their shoes today. Hi, how you doing? I'm so glad to see all of you. I'm so glad to see that we're coming back. There was never a doubt in our minds from the time we saw all the disaster happening that this would bring out the best in us, which is um, all of you. Uh, I'm thrilled to be able to be back here and to announce a significant 
kind of gift uh, for the city, done by a bunch of friends, which I will tell you later. But I want to introduce to you somebody who totally volunteered uh, to help out the city. I'd never met her before, but a lot of you know her. She's a Hall of Fame basketball star, Nancy Lieberman. <laughs> Two-time Olympic champion in the Hall of Fame. And she has a special gift to the city, which I, she will tell you about herself. Here's Nancy Lieberman. I quickly want to say thank you to everybody here for the hospitality in Long Beach. Some of you do know I grew up uh, in Far Rockaway, lived there, and so many great memories of coming to Long Beach and being a part of this community, my community, and when I saw Billy at Muhammad Ali's fight night, we have a common friend in Muhammad Ali, and when Billy was talking on stage about Long Beach, and you could just see his love and his passion uh, for this community and how much it meant to him, and then raising the funds to give back to this community, there was only one thing that I actually knew to do, and I wanted to do something. I ran over to him backstage. And I just said, look, I'm building dream courts with my foundation, the Nancy Lieberman Foundation. You know, would, could I do a court with you in Long Beach? Could we do this? Because that's what we do. We love kids, we love people, we love community. And he said, yes, I got a great email from him a couple weeks ago. Uh, thank you for that honor, for him and Janice to allow me to be a part uh, of this celebration. We are gonna build a court. We've looked at the, 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 the park right on the water. I'm excited. Uh, this is a beautiful city and a beautiful community. Stay strong. God bless each and every one of you, and thank you uh, for letting me be a small part of today. So now this is, it's going to be a beautiful two basketball courts with, uh, at the rec facility in a beautiful park there that Nancy builds are called Dream Courts. They're magnificent courts. And kids can come there and dream. LeBron the other night said, I'm from Akron, Ohio, in a city. I don't belong here. Well, a lot of kids will feel that way. When they get on that dream court, they can dream like a LeBron did about furthering themselves. And because of the court that Nancy's going to donate to the city free of charge, um, kids will have that dream too. So Nancy mentioned Muhammad Ali. When I was, right before I moved from here in 1976, the first television show I ever did in 1974 was with the greatest of all time. Um, he had just beaten George Foreman. I was a substitute teacher in the middle school at the time and got a chance to do this special with him and we became really good friends. Um, and that has continued for all of these years. On CNN, when we saw the devastation, I was in California sitting there with my mouth just agape going, oh my God, what can we do? I called him and his amazing wife, Lonnie, and I said, is there any way we can help? Because he does this amazing event every March in Phoenix called Fight Night. And what they do is they raise money for Parkinson's relief, uh, the disease that is uh, winning a big decision in, in his bout with it. Through their courtesy, after looking at this footage, they allowed me to come on stage that night and, and raise money with the help of some other friends, Steve Martin, Robert De Niro, and Robin Williams, and an amazing man named Jimmy Walker. And we were able to raise, and it's our gift to the city today, of $888,000. This is the first time, and this is why he is the greatest of all time, this is the first time they've diverted funds from Parkinson's research to help out Long Beach. And pretty amazing. So we thought that's a very significant amount of money for the city. And today we toured uh, different parts of the city that need help, and we're going to pinpoint exactly what needs the most help to, to make the city get back up on its feet. And so Janice and I thought, well, $888,000 is a great amount of money, but a million sounds a lot better. So here are two checks, one for, for Long Beach City Relief of $888,000. Who's going to receive this? I need two, two forms of ID, too. <laughs> 
and a check on behalf of Janice and I and our family for $112,000 to make it even $1 million for the city. Don't spend it all in one place. When we had our screenings of parental guidance in December, that was to raise smiles and, your, and, and to make you feel a little bit better during the bleakest of times. And I told a lot of you that, who were there that there'll be more help on the way. Well, this is a significant step in that help on the way, and there'll be more to come. Thank you. Billy has been so generous, not only with his resources, but with his time. And he's going to be filming a commercial to invite everybody to come back to the beach, support our local businesses, and be part of our beach season. And we need all of you to be extras. So don't go anywhere. you want when he lifts his hand, but total silence. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Billy Crystal, and this is Long Beach, my hometown. Come see us. Okay, one more. It's going to be great. Something at Christie's gonna be very jealous. <laughs> Crystal, this is Long Beach, my hometown. Come see us. forget where you come from. I became, you know, I was uh, brought here from the Bronx in 1951 or two, somewhere in there, I think. Um, I grew up here. I, I uh, became a comedian here. I became somewhat of a baseball player here. I uh, became a father here. Um, I lost my parents here. It's, it's what the town is, you know, and, and that's a lot of what my show is about, and what 700 Sun is about, and um, is talking about this town, and it, 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 you never forget where you're from. Uh, I've lived in California since 1976, but uh, I always felt like I had a, a you know a round trip ticket. My last question, sorry to keep um, babbling on. You said you took a tour. I'm the one babbling. <laughs> you took a tour, you know, and saw some areas. You know, such a generous donation. Anything that you really kind of want this money to go towards? And well, your mind? the Ali's and I spoke about that some of the money will be used for youth programs to get to, you know help out in, in, at the rec center and, and rebuild uh, some of that and then we've, we've been looking at various places and we'll point we'll pinpoint places that we think the money can be most effective um, and that was one wish of theirs that it would be something for kids and athletics and recreation and, and 
you know, Nancy's going to build these incredibly beautiful basketball courts on the bay, and that'll be a start. And there's so many places, um, you know, and, and the money will go to all little bits of all of those things. What's going on here is about people that love people, and they're trying to help a community. I mean, this. This goes back to people's roots of what the, the happiest times of their life and what the city and what Billy is doing with his gift to the city. And this is an important part of what, you know, what made him the man he is today. I'm just kind of here to support a friend, support a city. I'm from Far Rockaway. I've been to Long Beach many times in my life. I'm just so proud to be a part of building a dream court. These kids are going to have a blast. Uh, Billy and I were on the court today shooting and seeing where this court could go, and we're going to make a lot of kids happy. You said it all. We don't, I didn't really want to have a ceremony. I was very, I don't need a thank you. My thank you is seeing the town coming back together. That's the thank you I need. I, I really was reluctant to do this, but you know, they did such a beautiful design and uh, of this little space on the boardwalk. And what makes it great to me is that that's where, that was the beach I grew up on. Uh, my mom used to sit up there and watch us play and go on the water. And then, you know, even my grandmothers would sit there and watch us. And so to have a place uh, like that is, is very moving. But we don't really need a thank you. We just, we just need for the town to do better. Can I ask you a couple of questions real quick? Where are you from? I'm from Island Park. Uh, no. But you know, I came to your play. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right so. do, you, do you foresee uh, that you, I've asked you about this before, in your play, would you incorporate any of this in your play? Uh, uh, the, the play is sort of timeless about a certain period of time. I think, um, you know, the, the, the fact that people will know that we've done this is, is, is all we really have to say. And, um, you know, the, it's really, the play is the play and this is my life. Are you a boardwalk guy? I am now. Yeah? I got a little section of it for me. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, we're here on this brand new boardwalk that is a state-of-the-art facility with a retro feel. Um, it is uh, protected in front of it by a retaining wall uh, to protect against wave action. It uh, has underneath concrete stringers and slabs and is held together by hurricane straps. And on top we have the tropical sustainable hardwood which has a 30 year lifespan as opposed to the three to seven year lifespan on the old wood that we had. And uh, it's much lower maintenance. And so it's a uh, really a state of the art facility and and um, it's, uh, it's now the uh, probably the top boardwalk in the region, and we're happy to invite everybody to come on down and join it. I'm Michelle Blick. Um, I live over here in the building, the Ocean Club, and it's really great to have the boardwalk back. Um, I use this for, for work. I'm a personal trainer, so I use it a lot for work. Uh, I ride my bicycle on here. I meet my friends. I come out here to read. You know. It's a social network for me, you know, I meet people here. I spend a lot of time on the boardwalk and since Sandy, it's been like a, bi a big part of my life was missing and I'm so happy to have it back. This is Nadi from the Philippines and uh, we are here to uh, commemorate with the uh, opening of uh, the boardwalk of Long Beach. We are all very glad that uh, it was rebuilt. And we, ha uh, we are hoping for this uh, in a long time already and we are very glad it's here already. We're thrilled today to have uh, our boardwalk officially open for five blocks. As additional blocks become available, we're going to open those as well. Today marks the official uh, unveiling of our state-of-the-art, refurbished boardwalk built stronger, smarter, safer. It's uh, made of Brazilian hardwood, which is sustainably harvested. The lifespan is 30 to 40 years for this type of wood. In addition, as you can see behind me, we have all new railings and uh, light posts, which are um, put in with LED lighting, so we're, uh, we're really making sure we've had everything covered. Uh, we invite everybody to come down, enjoy the new boardwalk, enjoy everything Long Beach has to offer. This is a great day, and as we get more sections open, those are going to be open as well, but no reason to wait. Come down now, have fun, and see all the good things going on. As you can see, we have, we have hundreds of people here just enjoying, uh, enjoying the day. My wife, Ellen, and I, uh, live here and enjoy what God has given us. But so do all the people that live here. Being here for almost, well, almost 80 years, the love that we've had for this boardwalk and for our beach, and the pride that we have in our community, this is a symbol of what Long Beach is all about. If anybody comes here, we get an expression in Long Beach, you get the sand in your shoes. People who come here don't ever want to leave, and those who leave come back. And today we have thousands of people up here enjoying what Long Beach has to give. We have everything in our community. Small city, all we need now are for people to come back and enjoy what we have, and then we'll strive and move forward. We are on our way. We were hurt, but we are not broken not defeated, we're coming back, we are resilient, and that's what Long Beach is all about. We are so excited about today. This is the opening of our boardwalk from Magnolia to Long Beach Road, and it's so exciting. We have so many people out here who are happy that we've reopened, people on bicycles, people running, people walking. The boardwalk looks beautiful. It's incredible, and today is just another sign that we are moving forward stronger and safer and smarter than ever before. So welcome everyone to Long Beach. Come, enjoy the boardwalk. It's great. Uh, it's a pleasure having this boardwalk open again. I live right on the boardwalk. Uh, it's been missed, and Long Beach is definitely kicking back. Uh, for everyone that uh, is debating on whether to come to Long Beach, now is definitely the time. The boardwalk is better than ever. You can ride a bike without uh, being afraid of having your wrist hurt. Uh, there's no sound. Uh, everybody is just rejoicing. Everybody is so happy. It's like the, the, the inauguration, the christening of this boardwalk today and the christening of a new Long Beach. I use the boardwalk every day. I, as I said, I live right off the boardwalk. I bike every day. I, I jog every day. I do yoga on it every day. Uh, I talk to people on it. It's a great place to meet people that are into what you're into. Having fun, enjoying life, being romantic, and doing sports. It's a new age for Long Beach. It's a new age, a new resurgence, and uh, I'm sure people are going to start coming more here since it's so close to the city instead of going out to the Hamptons, which doesn't have a boardwalk. It's a new life. <laughs> 
This is such a great day for the city of Long Beach. You go through dark times, you go through tough times, and all of a sudden the sun is shining and people are together and, and experiencing this joy of having accomplished something great. This is probably one of the most exciting things that I've been to in a long, long time. I'm so happy for the people of the city of Long Beach and for everyone here on Long Island to see this great comeback story. Uh, congratulations, everyone. Hi, my name is James Fallon. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at the Hotel Alegria here in Long Beach, New York. Today is a very special day. The boardwalk has reopened to the public and all of our admiring fans for decades. It's a very sentimental day for the residents and of course our staff at the hotel and our hotel guests. The boardwalk plays a vital role not only for local families but for tourists coming in from Manhattan to spend a special weekend uh, for leisure. It also is a major attraction for corporations to come out not only to utilize the beach and the great facilities we have within the city of Long Beach but it also offers a different option for an experience that you'd have to literally go out of state for. We couldn't be happier at the staff of the Alegria. Um, we're very proud of our city government, the federal government, um, and all local resources that made this happen. We encourage all of our uh, viewers to come in and experience not only the Hotel Alegria, but the beautiful boardwalk and the beautiful beaches. And again, Long Beach is a year-round destination. Uh, today we had uh, the unofficial, official opening of the section of the boardwalk. And the reason that I say unofficial is because we are going to wait until the entire 2.2 miles of the boardwalk is open to have an official grand opening. But the number of people up here today just shows how anxious people are in the city of Long Beach to get back on the beloved boardwalk. This is a boardwalk that I remember as a little boy uh, during the 1950s and 60s where we had over 50, 60, 70,000 people here. We had fireworks three times a week. I think that the uh, boardwalk right now uh, symbolizes uh, the rebirth of the city because it's a new boardwalk. It's an old boardwalk because it's built on pillars that were here for a hundred years or more, but it's a new boardwalk in the sense that it's made of durable uh, hardwood. Uh, the lights are reminiscent of the old days in the city of Long Beach, but the boardwalk itself is a symbol of the rebirth of the city as people up here on a beautiful day here uh, at the end of July are enjoying themselves by biking, running, riding, walking with their children, their parents, their grandparents. It's a wonderful, wonderful day for the city. It's a great day for Long Beach. You know, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Hurricane Sandy did a number on Long Beach, but we're resilient. Our people are resilient, our businesses are resilient, uh, the city's workforce. This gorgeous new boardwalk is a symbol of the community, and it's just wonderful to shine the spotlight on Long Beach. Uh, you know, you were here when we had Billy Crystal and filming a commercial, which is now airing everywhere. And it's just, it's just a wonderful feeling as a lifelong resident of Long Beach to really see Long Beach underneath the spotlight and the rest of the world knowing how great we are. It's a feel-good day for everybody who lives in Long Beach, who comes to visit Long Beach. We want to recommend that everybody checks out our new website, visitlongbeachnewyork.com. Find out about all our great shops and restaurants and all the wonderful things there are to do here. Our beautiful beaches, of course, our recreation programs. This is truly a rebirth for the city of Long Beach. Uh, this is where it all begins again. Everybody wants to be in Long Beach. This is the place to be, and it will always be the place to be.